That leads us to wake up. The man, Mr. Fab. Goodness. How'd you get him on the track? Man, that's not even that's not even Mr. Fab on that song. That <laughs> yes. Is, that is that is Stan <laughs> that is Stanley from North Oakland rapping in the hallway cipher yes. on, on that album. Mm-hmm. That is, I got, he, he found his backpack and uh, there was, there must have been a backpack inside of the backpack yes. with a, in, that he found. Like, but that's what we love about him too. Like he has that versatility that you have to where if you catch him on a good day, he's going to fucking rap and it's amazing. Yeah. He gave me, I feel like that's like, and I've heard him do just that like multiple times but it's just like for him to do that for me like that was just like come on salute bro like we've been meaning to get on some shit because i know fat for like maybe like cool like five years just on the humbug just brushing shoulders in the industry and us having mutual friends and uh but him literally like that whole shit came about like he was on facetime with the homie and see me in the background and he was in he was in the booth while he was on uh on facetime was like plus What's up? You got a record for me? Send me something. And I didn't even have nothing particular with him in mind, but I just sent him a beat. Like, actually, uh, Antrax. <laughs> so, like, I just had a pack from Antrax. I was like, I hear Fab on this. He, he killed this. You know what I'm saying? And I knew I knew I wanted to get him on some hip-hop shit, yes. but I didn't know he was going to take it there. Yes. And it's like, that's some, that's one of the ones that's like, I feel like that's like a renegade. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a, a Jay-Z and Eminem. It's like, Jay-Z had amazing verses on Renegade. Mm-hmm. But Eminem dusted that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I feel like that. Like I had a great verse on Wake Up, and I and I did the hook, but that nigga dusted me. <laughs> <laughs> did you send it to him with your verse already on it? No, I sent him the beat. So I did. I did my verse after it, but I was like, I was on some like I already knew what what kind of cadence and where I was going with the record, and I was like, I kind of had the same approach that like I, I what what Big Sean said about uh, control with Kendrick. He's like, I. I sent the verse with my record on, or I sent the record with my verse already on it. I'm not finna change my shit just because you came crazy on the shit. Like you know what I'm saying? That's what I thought was was hard and what I wanted to do with the record. And you came iller than me, and it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I already so even after the fact that I had heard his verse, I already knew what I wanted to do with my verse and what I was gonna say and stuff like that. So I was like, I ain't finna change this shit up just because he came super lyrical or whatever. Like you know what I'm saying? I actually kind of on. on uh wanted to like not come as lyrical or not rap as fast or put so many like three syllable words in my verse or whatever just to make it to balance it out almost you know what i'm saying or have like more space between my punk- punctuation because he came so not that's a different thing when rappers can consistently give you bars throughout a verse without rapping fast if that makes sense you know what I'm saying? So it's like there's like very little room in between any of the words for uh, that he's saying in his verse, but he's not rapping fast, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. He's just fitting hella words like in there. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's going to make you catch that shit. Yes. And he's first on that track, right? Yeah. What was that like? It was just like, oh, you bodied him, put you first type shit? Nah, like just... And that, and that was another thing, too. A lot of times, like, for, I know for newer artists or, like, record labels will tell you or record producers or whoever will tell you, like, yo, if you got the big name feature, you got to put that person last because a lot of people are just going to listen to the feature and then they're going to turn the song off, off after that. They might not be listening to the song for you. They just listening for the big name feature. So that was almost on some, despite that shit, like, nah, Fab sent me the verse first. I rapped after him. We ain't finna move it around and shit like that. Fuck that. That nigga rapped first on the song. And it, it almost feels like a respect thing, too. You know what I mean? Like, really respecting yeah. him for everything that he's done, respecting him for coming the way he did on that track. Like, it's, it's, it really feels like a nod of respect. So it's yeah, tough. for sure. That's like, that's that's one of my OGs, for sure. 